Time for my follow up facial. So I had a chemical peel two weeks ago and now I am getting a microdermabrasion. Boy, my skin looks good. And let me tell you guys, I washed my face. I put nothing on it. I didn't even put sunscreen. And I literally ran out the house and here I am. Poor Dr. Gary to put her magical hands on my face. Yep. Nothing. This oily stuff is probably just sweat. <laughs> but um yeah. Nothing else is on my face. Okay, so what are we doing now, Dr. Gavis? Oh, I'm just wiping off your face right now. I said I didn't have to talk, but I'm talking anyway. I'm wiping off your face. <laughs> I'm just gonna make sure that, see, all this stuff, because this is stuff that comes on your face as a result of having creams and all that kind of stuff in the morning. So right now, we're just gonna wash it off. Okay. Right now, she's just cleaning my face off. And then you smell that nice fragrance. Mm -hmm. Smells like uh, eucalyptus, maybe? Tea tree. Oh, tea tree, yes. A little bit of tea tree oil. Mm -hmm. A little bit of tea tree oil. It has antibacterial and I like it. She just cleans it with a little bit of tea tree oil. And water. Now she's adding a little bit of glycolic acid. Great chemical peel, very pretty skin peel, and now we're doing the second part of the procedure, which is a medical microdermabrasion. And right now I'm just doing it's actually a three-step med medical microdermabrasion. Are three steps. I do generally have my um, assistant do it, but with said it's kind of special. I've been taking care of her for a while, so <laughs> I like doing her face personally. So right now, just massaging the very pretty skin, glycolic wash into it skin very creamy and you're gonna see how soft and smooth and really um, the texture is going to be even better after I have just been massaging and I'm tricking this glycolic wash just to massage it in until it dries which takes time and you don't miss a spot this is the area where most people miss over the lips one of the mouths under the eyes, the bridge of the nose, and this little area right here. I said these are areas where people just generally don't trespass. Because when they wash, they generally wash here, they wash here. Sometimes they go only to the edge. But I tell people when you wash your face, you want to do the entire face, which includes all the way up to the hairline, corners of the mouth, over the lip, bridge of the nose, in between the brows. And then the creases, and yet there's another place that's often overlooked too, is the crease under the nose. nose, right? But I did the whole thing, and I do this, and I actually spread the skin. This is another trick. Spread the skin, skin, because oftentimes people, the texture of the skin here will be different than over the lip, and you miss that lip area. You don't want to miss that. Trust me, after her skin is done, it's going to be even smooth and it's going to be beautiful. As you can see, she doesn't have a wrinkle on her face. And she's got a little pimple here. You don't like that. She doesn't have any fine lines or wrinkle. And I know how, exactly how the set is going to age. She'll age, her skin will age beautifully as long as she keeps it exfoliated. And exfoliation can be done in many ways, but one of the ways I like to exfoliate, especially skin of color, is do chemical exfoliation, which is what I'm doing now, and then mechanical exfoliation, which is what I'm going to do later with the sonic blade and also the microdermabrasion machine. All right, so now I've got that acid all in her skin. I'm being 
very careful because she got her lashes done. <laughs> Untrained eye, her skin looks perfect. Right. But in my eyes, it's not because there's things that need to be taken care of. Mm -hmm. I don't like the temples, and I particularly don't like the forehead. Did you see how pretty this? So by the time we finish, there'll be subtle difference between them. So she doesn't like my forehead, y'all. I don't <laughs> like the forehead. And so the naked eye, well, to us people that don't know really skin, it looks great, mm -hmm. but. Dr. Gary's nose best. That's you know, why it comes see. Right. And yeah. if you look at it now, you can kind of even see what's happening with it now. Can yeah. you see? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when I finish this, this whole forehead is going to be absolutely... Can you see the difference just so far? I can. And I like to take this can do my manual microphone. This is what I'm going to do. I take it like that. And I wrap it like that. Just give me a bit of a cushion. And I go in circular movements and I stretch the skin. Just like a buffer machine. And I go in all directions. Just like if she was going to a car wash. <laughs> Temple area. See, this is all dead skin in this shape. Dead skin.
Hi guys, so this next step of the microderm abrasion is Dr. Gary's using the face scrubber. I'm sorry that you can't hear her explaining it, but the buzzing of the scrubber was so loud that it was drowning out what she was trying to say. But basically what the scrubber is doing is removing any extra skin cells, dead skin cells, excuse me, and impurities um, on my face. And what's in the cotton ball is just water and she's using the water um, and gliding the scrubber along my face.
Darius mentioned earlier, this is another way she likes to exfoliate the skin, which is by using the microdermabrasion machine. What she is doing now is sanding the skin and making sure everything is buffed and smooth. that you're applying now? Okay, so this is a little bit of bleaching cream that she's putting on. She is going to rub it in. Okay. And on the sides. Okay.
Okay. That is it.